Now for this part then, what we're asked to do is to expand this up to the term in x squared, giving our coefficients in their simplest form. And to do this, what we've got to do really is to use the answer that we found in the previous part. We found our constants a, b and c to be 2, minus 1 and 4 respectively. So you can see I've updated this. So what we need to do is expand this side here using the binomial expansion. So before we start, just a quick reminder that if you've got the binomial expansion formula here, we use the formula when n is not a positive integer. And uh, what we have got is 1 plus a to the power n is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 a squared all over 2 factorial and so on. But before we can use this, we need to modify these two terms here. And I start with the 2 here anyway. 2, and we've got minus. And for this term, rewrite it as x minus 1 to the power minus 1. And for this one here, we just have plus 4 multiplied by x plus 2 to the power minus 1. Now, as you can see, these two terms in the brackets here are not quite uh, in this format, 1 plus something to the power n. They don't start with a 1, OK? So we need to modify them. And to do that, let's just come to the side here, OK? So uh, just draw a line down there. If we look at this one here, x minus 1 to the power minus 1, let's just put it down. X minus 1 to power minus 1. To change this, what we can say is that this is identical to, and we can pull out minus 1 as not a common factor as such, but just for convenience, pull out minus 1. And then by putting a 1 there, and then minus x, all to power minus 1. Can you see that minus 1 times the 1 gives us this minus 1? And minus 1 times the minus x gives us the plus x. And it's all to the power minus 1. Now when you've got two factors being multiplied together then, to a power here, we can say that that's identical to each of those to that power. So it's minus 1 to the power minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus x to the power minus 1. And for minus 1 to the power minus 1, that's 1 over minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus x to the power minus 1. And 1 over minus 1, well, that's clearly going to be minus 1 times 1 minus x to the power minus 1. So when it comes to this term then, on our next line, we can think of this as 2 minus, minus this uh, bracket here. So it's going to be 2 plus 1 minus x to the power minus 1. So that term there is now prepared for this expansion. When we come to x plus 2 to the power minus 1, we're going to do really much the same kind of thing as we did just now. x plus 2 to the power minus 1, well that's identical to, and we just need to pull out 2 as a common factor. Well again, it's not really a common factor, but just 2 for convenience. So we've got 2 times 1 giving us the 2, and then plus half x, or x over 2. 2 times x over 2 gives us that x. And it's all to the power minus 1. So we can think of this as 2 to the power minus 1 multiplied by 1 plus x over 2 to the power minus 1. Reciprocate then the 2, and you've got a half. Half multiplied by 1 plus x over 2 to the minus 1. So we've got 4 then times this value here. 4 times a half is just going to give me 2. So we can put in 2 multiplied by 1 plus x over 2 to the power minus 1. OK, so we've got these now in this particular form, so we can expand it using the binomial expansion. 
So we've got then 2 plus, and I'm going to put up a square bracket here for the expansion of 1 minus x to the minus 1. So the a is now minus x, and n is the power minus 1. So we've got 1 plus n a, so that be plus minus 1 times what a is, which is minus x, and then plus, and then it's n times n minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1 times minus 2. And that's all over 2 factorial, and we multiply it by a squared. So a being the minus x, so we've got minus x in brackets there, all squared. And because we're expanding it just up to the term in x squared, I'm going to put plus and so on. So that's that one there. Now we come on to our third term here, which is going to be plus, and we'll just squeeze it down here, plus 2 times the expansion that we get for 1 plus x over 2 to the power minus 1. So in this one, a is now x over 2, and n is again minus 1. So we've got 1 plus n, which is minus 1, times what was a, which is now x over 2. So put that in. And then plus n again, minus 1, times n minus 1, so that's going to be minus 2, over 2 factorial, and that is multiplied by a squared, or x over 2 all squared. So we've got x over 2 all squared, and then plus and so on. So now we just need to expand our brackets. So we've got the 2 here, and then we've got plus 1, and then we've got plus x here, so we can put that in as plus x. And for this term here, minus 1 times minus 2 is 2, divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, that's 2. So you've basically got 1 here. 1 multiplied by minus x all squared just gives us plus x squared. So that's that part done. Now we've got this one here. So we've got 2 times the 1 here, so that's plus 2. As for this term, this is minus a half x, times it with this 2, and you've got minus x. And for this term, well, minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, and that cancels out with 2 factorial, which is 2. And here we've got then x squared all over 4. So all of this is x squared over 4, times it with the 2, and you've got plus x squared over 4. 2, and plus, and so on, even though we need to expand this just up to the term in x squared. So if we group together our terms, we've got 2 and 1 is 3, plus another 2 is 5. And as for the x terms, we've got x here, take away x, so that disappears. And now you've got 1x squared plus half x squared, so it's 1 and a half x squared, or 3x squared over 2. And again, I'm still going to write plus and so on, okay, even though it's asking us just to go up to the term in x squared. So, there you go. Hope that's given you an idea of how to go about that part.